Here's how they stack up Talon and Tape and the differences to look out for here. Three inches in height going the way of Courtney Casey, but she gives up the reach surprisingly in the arm and only an inch more in the left. Our experts fight game for our championship bout. Striking even, ground game Gonzalo. Speed to Courtney Casey. Strength is even, endurance to Courtney Casey. Okay, it's time for our flyweight championship set for five rounds as Pearl Gonzalez and Courtney Casey fight for their first ever pro championship. Gonzalez telling her corner man, hey, uh, can I get my mouthpiece, bud? Gonzalez has only lost to Muna Holland, who also beat Karina Dam, Mariana Kafitz, and Kim Katua. Okay, now let's go up to Cyrus Fee. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is a freestyle fighter, standing five foot seven inches tall, official weight, 121.6 pounds. Her record, one win, zero defeats. Fighting out Power MMA, FAF, Mesa, Arizona, Courtney Cast Iron Casey. And her opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. She is a boxer, standing five foot four inches tall. Official weight, 123.2 pounds. Her record, one win and one loss. Fighting out of the Midwest Training Center, Cicero, Illinois, Pearl Gonzalez. Your referee, Gary Copeland. All right, listen up, ladies. You both can your instructions in the back. Fake, listen to my commands all the time. I have a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Blue? How about you, Red? Let's touch them up, prepare to fight. Gary Copeland with the final instructions. The closing odds for this one, thanks to Nick Kalikas, the favorite Courtney Casey at minus 180. They come back on Pearl Gonzalez at plus 140. Michael Chevello, Pat Militich with you from the Nashville Municipal Run Auditorium here in Run Tennessee. The flyweight championship fight begins. Late kick early on here from Gonzalez. Got to keep that left hand up because Courtney likes to throw the solid right cross. This is the inside leg kick, Gonzalez. High left round from Courtney Casey. Gonzalez getting that right hand up after that kick. Checks the inside side kick, Gonzalez. Casey combination work goes body and head. Covers the gap quickly with her footwork. That's it. I'm sure soccer has something to do with that. She bends over uppercut, circle up. Straight line punches so far from Courtney Casey. Dropped her right hand, got planted with the left. Gut munching knees from both ladies in the clinch here. Crossing elbow from Pearl Gonzalez. Gonzalez puts Casey back against the cage pack. Right, and one thing that you need to pay attention to is that both these girls have started extremely nope, fast. Nope, this is a five round fight. Neither one has a ton of experience to begin with. I think Courtney Casey took a low blow to the groin. She's grimacing a little here. Referee lets it go on. Casey looks for a submission off her back. Still recovering from that shot downstairs. Gary Copeland apparently not thinking it's possible for a woman to be hurt there. Cut her off. Jam it. from Gonzalez. High left round, Courtney Casey followed through with the right hand. Gonzalez looking for a takedown. Yeah, Courtney Casey almost put her right hand through the cage on that one. Both women on the canvas now. Courtney Casey could have rolled her through there. They hit the fence though. Courtney Casey didn't plan on that happening. Casey oh. throws her legs up. Armbar attempt here from the former soccer player. She's still got it here. Yeah, she stayed latched on. Got to get those hips extended. Can the favorite Courtney Casey find the finish in the first round? Oh, it's that. Oh, that joint was sublex there for a second, buddy. Legs in the way now. Courtney Casey's got to go back inside there. She's got to dig inside that leg again and lock it up again. It doesn't matter what they do with your head. If you can arch, you can still get it. Still looking for this arm is Courtney Casey, not even halfway through the round yet. Good distraction. Keep hitting her with those shots. Keep your weight on her on the right shoulder. Keep your weight on her on the right shoulder. Corner being smart, telling her to keep the weight on her. Casey resets the submission. Keep your hips low and into her. Good little low grappling low action low. going here. There it is. Keep your hips low and into her. Get that on Courtney right. Casey on the plaza on that on right top. shoulder on of on Bill top. Gonzalez. Left hip, right hand behind your back. Stay on top. Stay on top. You stay on top. 
Someone just shot it out in the ear in the face. I don't see how that's humanly possible. <laughs> Elbows to the midsection from Gonzalez. Yeah, wicked body shots. Elbow now to the jawline from Gonzalez, and Casey puts her back inside full guard and closes the guard. Opens it up now, rolls through, looking for the armbar again. Boy, she's quick at that, man. Her transitions are great. Courtney Casey wants to take on the arm of Bill Gonzalez. Got the triangle started, squeezing it together, and then got to try and get the angle, get the foot behind the knee. It is all submission attempts here from Courtney Casey as she tries to lock up the triangle. So she's trying to defend the armbar also at the same time. Courtney trying to figure out which one to hit. And neither one working. Pearl Gonzalez free of trouble at the moment. One minute ten remaining. First round of five. Now it's Pearl who looked for a submission. Yeah, she looked like she was going to take that arm for a second. Or did she have a... Yep, got that arm locked up on the far side. Elbows to the midsection from Pearl. Then goes up to the left area. Put your ass down. Courtney, nice job going through the back door here. What a grappling match we have here in the first round of this flyweight championship fight. Yeah, good movers. Reverse elbows from Gonzalez. Steps over. Courtney Casey had the chance to take her back there, but missed it as Gonzalez stepped across to that half guard position. See if she can get out the back door here anyway. 20 seconds remains in this opening round. Been an absolute ripper so far. Gonzalez cutting that hip in, working the left hand, pushes herself off the cage. Striking to the forehead of Courtney Casey. And this is how the round will end. It was in motion when the bell rang. Let's take a little bit of green shot here that happened on Courtney Casey. Referee didn't see it. A straight knee. Oh. After Gonzalez got out of that uh, submission, she was able to land some elbows, but I think Courtney Casey had her in more trouble overall in that round. XFC supporting awareness of breast cancer, the fight against breast cancer here tonight, as we all are, the pink pads in the cage. The fight is also wearing pink gloves. Breast cancer awareness month. 10-9, Courtney Casey, first round, says Pat Militich. How are you scoring it, folks? Let us know. Use the hashtag on Twitter, XFC26. Let's fight. Gary Copeland gets us underway. Second round, inside leg kick from Casey. Body shot from Casey. She's blinking a little heavily on her right eye. Don't know what the cause of that may be. Counter right hand off the leg kick. Front kick gets caught. Tried for a sweep there when she hit the ground. Round kick to the waist section off the back leg from Courtney Casey. Outside leg kick from Gonzalez. Gonzalez wanting to keep this thing standing. Does not want to be on the ground with Courtney Casey. Casey goes body then head. Nothing connecting for her, but she's got the right idea and backs up Gonzalez with a solid right drop. A little bit of a welt over the left eye of Gonzalez. Looking for the jaw again off that right hand. There's a nice rib kick right hand. And mouth guard flies out the cage. Drops in front of our country position. Aggression here from Courtney Casey. Top position, half guard. Can she mount her? No, now Gonzalez top position. You know, you go to mount like that, you got to post your arm out. If you're going to fall over, stick your arm out and stop yourself from falling over. She didn't do that, but she's just transitioning straight into attacking the arm. This is what Courtney Casey did in the first round, locking down the shoulder of Gonzalez. Looking for a Google plotter there for a second. Had a shin bone across. Here's the submission attempt from Courtney Casey. Gonzalez stepping around again. Replay of the first round. Got a dumper here. Got to keep rolling through. 
Get that left leg back. You hear the corner of Gonzalez saying, get that, get that left right leg three. back. Yeah, it's in jeopardy. You can hit back a uh, right. reverse back. heel hook, which is right the submission elbow. that always scared right me the most. Courtney Casey, right. bottom position Casey here. Side control now for Bill Gonzalez. Cuts in the hip, looks for the mount. Then Courtney stops it. Slick grappling, a lot of work going in there. Hip movement, legs, playing the leg game, fighting for position. Elbows off the back from Courtney Casey. Throws the legs up, Casey. So many submission options for the former soccer player. Gonzalez choosing to go the other direction now. Got a choice, either go around that leg or just push it off to the side and end up in half guard. Clear your head. Clear She wants to play a late game now with Gonzalez. Two minutes, ten remains. Second round, first round. He gave the way of Courtney Casey. Amethyst strikes from Gonzalez. Gonzalez back inside the guard and Casey closes the guard. Can Gonzalez posture up here? Stop, freeze, don't move, don't move. Put that in your mouth, hurry up. Referee Gary Copeland now inserts the mouth guard again for Bill Gonzalez. Got dislodged about a minute and a half ago. Elbow from Gonzalez. Courtney working those legs up into a triangle again here. Her submission transitions are slick, man. This girl gets after it. And Gonzalez is good on the ground, so the fact that she's doing this to her tells you how good Courtney's submissions are. Courtney hacking away, top of the skull with the elbows. The triangle is stitched in here. It's tight. Now it's tight. She got the arm across. Still a long time to go. One minute 15 in the second round. Triangle locked on by Courtney Casey. Nothing more malicious than getting somebody in a triangle and then blasting them with elbows. Pulling that head down. Triangle tightly composed. Elbows again from Casey. What does Gonzalez do here, Pat? Well, she can't let that arm get, continue to get pushed across, but Courtney not able to get the correct angle. See how her hips are tilted off to the side. And I don't know if she's able to get the uh, pressure with the right thigh or the hamstring tight on the uh, neck of Gonzalez, but Gonzalez doing a good job of protecting her head with her palm and keeping that right arm from getting pushed across. That's what's going to cut off the blood on the other side of her neck. Half a minute remains now. Courtney Casey getting her leg pinned here by Gonzalez. Now Gonzalez, top position inside of half guard. Works the elbows to the body and head of Casey and tags her nicely. Gonzalez comes out of that submission not in a good mood, trust me. Trying to inflict as much damage as possible before the bell rings. And we are heading into the third. Pieces that have been dislodged here tonight at XFC. There was one flying out during the prelims here. <laughs> another prelim fight, another mouth guard gone. Oh, his mouth guards tonight, Patches, don't like staying in the kisser. Gotta keep your mouth closed. And there went Pearl's mouth guard. It flew out of the cage. Almost landed in our lap. Twenty eighteen fight after two to Courtney Casey says Pat Milicic. Casey three, is raring Let's to go up. from her corner. Casey so far hitting a submission buffet on Gonzalez in the first two rounds. Step across round kick, right hand from Casey. She's open up strong. Double jab from Gonzalez. And Casey backs her up with a right hand. Jab to again from Courtney Casey. 
Inside low kick, look at that thimble out of the ring. Then the outside fight, that common perennial move. Yeah, that was a solid kick. Right hand lead, left hook followed, no connect there for Courtney Casey. Trade lead kicks. Gonzalez goes to the inside of the knee. What should Gonzalez be doing here in the third pack? Nope, square. You know, not going to the ground. She ends up in submissions every time she does, and I think she's losing the rounds because of it. But Courtney Casey's giving her fit standing up also because Courtney, Ca Courtney Casey has got pretty good reach, moves her feet well, comes in on the attack, and seems to be pushing her back standing up. So I think she's definitely got to be more aggressive. Courtney Casey throws a one-two and a hook most of the time. Move your head when the punch comes and throw right back and shut her down and then step into the position she was. So it looks like you're advancing. Comments from the super coach Pat Milicic. As we see Casey locking down the left leg of Gonzalez. You know, you wonder if the cornrows on their head makes it tougher to get out of a headlock. I've never had cornrows on my head, but I can't imagine it makes it any easier getting out of there. There's a lot of friction created because of that. And only the super coach Pat Miletic would dissect cornrows on live TV. <laughs> that's what makes sense of them. I gotta be honest with you, that's why I always had a bunch. <laughs> Top position here inside the closed guard is Pearl Gonzalez trying to get fly with that right elbow. Scary Copeland got a hold of there, a bit of a hairband was it? Took out of the hair of Courtney Casey. Nice of him to help out. Legs thrown up again from Casey, wants to lock up one of these arms, she's been it. In good position for the previous two rounds, and she finds another submission attempt here in the third. Gonzalez trying to shut her down, control her a little bit more. Hey! Nice little elbow over the top. Pass through the middle. Hands in the middle, Pearl. That's it. That's it. Short work. Hammer fist, Pearl. Hammer fist. Pearl Gonzalez. Wiggle, wiggle. Don't reach. Wiggle. Beyonce, who's on active duty in the U.S. Navy. Pull up and out. Getting her head pulled down as maybe Courtney will look to set the triangle again here. Up and out. Oh, boy. And there's the triangle from Courtney Casey's. Can she find the finish now? Trying to trap the arm under her arm. Yeah, just coming up, trying to sit up on top of her. You do not want to be on bottom when somebody's got a triangle on you. Nice job sneaking out of there. And Gonzalez, Gonzalez momentarily free, throws up the legs of her own. Courtney Casey back to her feet, but immediately Gonzalez puts her on her back. Courtney Casey forgetting about dominating position there and looking for another submission. A key lock got taken down because of it. Back One minute 45 remains in the third round. First two rounds going to Courtney Casey, who again looks for a submission. Elbows now from Gonzalez, being her favorite technique on the ground. Doing a good job of inflicting damage whenever she gets a chance. Looking up that leg of Gonzalez. Little spread here, Pearl Gonzalez. Now she postures up. Can she try for an armbar? Nice little punch to the belly on the way. Nice step over. Beautiful job there, ended up on top and got the choke started already. Just under a minute remaining. And Gonzalez looks oh. for the armbar now. Look at how she blocked with her other arm. Gary Copeland in the way there. But now the triangle started on her. It's Gonzalez's turn for a triangle. Let's see if Courtney Casey can survive. Wow. It's a tight one here from Gonzalez. For the experience level that these girls have, their submission skills are, are really slick. These girls are good, man. Gonzalez looking for the elbow. The crowd rallies behind her. Can she find it? Yes, she can. Pill Gonzalez wins the crowd. Devastation for Courtney Casey. Furious at herself here. She had so many submission attempts. And one of the first attempts of the fight from Gonzalez proves successful.
Have a look at the step over here from Bill Gonzalez. Beautiful work from her to advance her position. And the finish came at Vyaramba. Gonzalez, textbook stuff, and Courtney Casey could do nothing else but tap.